All right, people, you're most welcome to Libero Channel. With me, Jay Brown, you Australia, you know how we do it. On Libero Channel, we give you nothing about authentic news, and that's what I'm here to do. I give you the vibe when it comes to entertainment. I give you the gist when it comes to celebrity talks, and I give you all the zoo and the rims on entertainment bars right here right there so hey just go to youtube subscribe to entertainment bars and uh sorry liberal channel yeah liberal channel just go to youtube subscribe to liberal channel don't forget we have website www.omanaghnews.com www.omanaghnews.com and today i have two great personalities in the news right now i'll be talking about kkd and Kofi Kenata. Charlie, as soon as the beef have started again, ending to the year, we are going to have another beef. But you know, these people are great, matured people in the entertainment industry. And I think uh, it's not going to escalate, but each and everyone is trying to, I mean, um, show or tell his mind. Yeah, that's what it is. But before we get into that, just Let's go for a timeout. When I'm back, Sally, I'll give you all the filler. All right, you most welcome back from that quick commercial break. And I was talking to you about KKD. I mean, one of the finest broadcasters, MC in the industry. And I love that man, Kwesi Che Dakwa. One of the finest, I mean, a mentor and uh, Charlie. That's what it is. And then, Kofi Kinata. Yeah. One of the finest musicians we have. With sensible songs, sensible lyrics. In the, in the, in the entertainment industry. And trust me, I'm not just talking about some people, but these people are gurus. Yeah, even though uh, I would say they are not a power because uh, KKD has been in the game for so long. Yeah. And uh, the impact of Kofi Kenata in our music industry can't be cleared off. That's what it is. So yes, I need to, I mean, say they are great people in the entertainment industry. Uh -huh. What's the rift between them or what the qualms? What is the reason why each and everyone or Kofi, uh, Kofi Kenata went on radio to say about KKD? I think this week, there's been an issue trending on social media and people are having their bite, their take, and what have you. Comment on the issue. What did he say? <laughs> KKD said, anybody who still names or who have the name, an English name, yeah, or who names his son or child with an English name is still a slave. Do, do you understand what I mean? So let's say, for example, my name is Jebra Ado. So let's say if uh, there is no Ado on my name, or I don't have that same name, and maybe my name is Jebra Maswa, then because of the colonial masters that rule us and all that, I'm still having that mentality that they are still ruling me or they are controlling my affairs. That's why I have that name, or that's why we've given that such name to our children and all that. So anybody who names her child, with that, mm -hmm. it's still a slave or under slavery. That's what. So you need to emancipate yourself. I was like, wow. When I saw it, I just laughed. And you know, he is a big man. Yeah, no doubt. So I don't want to comment or say something that, I mean, will bring his name to the straight field. But Kofi Kinata went on the radio and he was asked, do you believe in what KKD said? And Kofi also laughed at the first question and said, Look, KKD wears suits. This one, you speak English and you slang. You speak like a British. What are you then? If you're saying someone who just have a name or naming his child with an English name, it's still in slavery. Then what are you? Because those days when we are talking, we use drum for them from another. But now you are using mic. Even when you share that view, it's on social media. On social media, we all know it's, uh, it's Mark Zuckerberg who brought it. Mark Zuckerberg is white. What makes you there? Big man, KKD. 
that's the question Kofi Kenata is asking you. You see, and I think Kofi is right in some way because you wear suits and you know suit is not ours. That's not part of our culture. Fran Tuma, Neshe Gili, Anna Agbada, Neshe, what was the name? Producer Abatakali or Batakali. They will know, say, yes. You are not under any slavery or you have emancipated yourself from slavery. But here we are. You still dress in suits, wear your tie, bow tie for that matter, wear shoes, speak very good English. Fone, uwa fone, fone niye good, grammar niye fine. You don't see yourself to be under slavery. You travel in and out of Ghana. You go to hospitals, you have your case there. You don't see yourself to be under slavery. But yeah, you all Ghana. Ah, we've been given the name of white and an English name. No, you think say yeah, we are still under slavery. So we need to emancipate our mind. Look, our leaders, they've sold our dignity, our dignities to all this white and all that. That's why we always go and borrow things from them. Even common toothpick. Yes, we've suck all these colonial masters and all that, but trust me, we are still under slavery. They are controlling our mind. That's why when you see any black guy coming up who want to do things the African way, and China way, when he start saying things, he start gathering momentum to let white, uh, sorry, the black folks know that we can do things on our own. You see, and China way, we those are the things we need to be talking about. You need to be talking about how our, our, our health system is poor. That when our seniors or leaders are sick, they travel outside for medical care. And we are here in this shit whole country. As Trump said, those are the things you need to be talking about. Because you are a big man. So broaden up that scope. And let's bring those things in. And yet just by name, we have people who have English name, but their mentality is different for what you're talking about. That's why it is. Munina, Mumawa, Broche, Omuko School, Big Bay School. Don't we have Saitos here? Even right here in Ghana, we call private schools, big private schools, built by uh, outsiders, international schools. Still, you don't consider that a slavery. Why do we then speak English then? Why do you wear suits under this scum? I mean, hot sun, and you think, yeah, because you have KKD, crazy chain dark quality, you are not enslaved. That's not what we are talking about. That's not it. So Kofi said, you speaking, using the mic, wearing suits, even where you share that view, and so social media. And social media, we all know, belongs to a white person. So you shouldn't just come and say whatever you want to say to us. That's what Kofi is saying. And some, uh, trust me, when you go and read, come, read the comment section, you will realize people are behind Kofi. People are really supporting Kofi. Because the young man spoke sense. He said some things that I mean things that can't be said to you directly by some people. Me, I can't say sad things to you because probably I like you, I adore you. So that's what it is. But the young man shared an idea, and his comment is perfecto. Trust me. So let's broaden the status school, the scope, so that we know not having or just having a, a, an English name doesn't make you a slave. It's the mindset. What you think? You think that you can, you're can uh, outside. The whole system is better. You can make a living outside. Or you, you, you are nothing as a black. Those are the mindset of slavery. You see? So, so that's what it is. So that's the info or whatever Kofi Kenata have to say about that issue or that uh, 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 stuff you place out there.
all right it's been a great show with me jay brown on liberal channel right here so just go to youtube subscribe share like so that each and everyone who enjoy this don't enjoy this alone right all right the show is produced by or by your roots and my camera by <laughs> quasi black aka the main man yeah jay brown is the name liberal channel is the station entertainment bass is the show merry merry christmas